Robert Mueller. In May of 2017, Rod Rosenstein appointed Mueller special counsel to oversee the Justice Department's investigation into whether Trump's campaign worked with Russians to influence the 2016 presidential contest. Mueller is a Princeton grad. He served in the Marines and then got his master's degree at NYU, followed by a law degree from UVA. He spent most of his career in government service, investigating everything from street crimes to terrorist bombings and bank fraud. Robert Mueller worked in three U.S. attorneys' offices. He was the assistant attorney general for the Department of Justice Criminal Division, and he was FBI director for 12 years. Donald Trump Jr., he's the president's eldest son, executive vice president, and trustee of the Trump Organization. His job in the organization is to acquire properties overseas. The Senate Judiciary and Intelligence Committees questioned Don Jr. about a June 2016 meeting that he had with Jared Kushner, Paul Manafort, and a Russian attorney at the Trump International Hotel in New York. He said the meeting was about Americans adopting Russian children, but then said it was political in nature. Don Jr. admitted he agreed to the meeting because he thought he'd be getting damaging information about presidential candidate Hillary Clinton. Jared Kushner, the president's son-in-law, is also one of his trusted advisors. Kushner met with a British music publicist named Rob Goldstone, who said prominent Russians had dirt on Hillary Clinton. Donald Trump Jr. and Paul Manafort were also part of that meeting. Paul Manafort, he was Donald Trump's campaign chairman for a couple of months, and he's fought various federal charges in both Virginia and Washington, D.C., in Virginia, prosecutors accused him of hiding millions of dollars from the IRS, money that he earned advising Ukraine politicians. A jury convicted Manafort on eight felony charges related to tax and bank fraud. A jury deadlocked on 10 more. After that verdict, Manafort pleaded guilty in federal court in D.C. to illegal lobbying and agreed to cooperate with the Russian investigation. But months later, the judge in D.C. voided his plea deal because he repeatedly lied to Mueller's team. When it comes to prison time, Manafort was sentenced to 47 months for his financial malfeasance in Virginia. He got 73 months for illegal lobbying practices in D.C. Manafort will serve his first 30 months in prison concurrently. His total time in prison will be about seven and a half years. Now, just minutes after his federal sentencing, New York prosecutors indicted Manafort on 16 counts relating to mortgage fraud, conspiracy, and falsifying business records. New York prosecutors acted so quickly because while President Trump can pardon Manafort for his federal crimes, the president cannot pardon Manafort for his state crimes. Michael Flynn is a retired three-star Army lieutenant general and was briefly President Trump's national security advisor. Prosecutors say Flynn lied when he said he had not talked about sanctions with the then-Russian ambassador to the U.S. Flynn pleaded guilty to making false statements to the FBI, but his sentencing was delayed because Flynn said he wanted more time to cooperate with Mueller and his investigation. Rick Gates was Donald Trump's deputy campaign manager. He was also Paul Manafort's business partner, and he made millions advising Ukraine's pro-Kremlin government. Gates implicated Paul Manafort in a slew of federal crimes, including money laundering, failing to register as a foreign agent, and making false statements. Gates struck a deal with Mueller. In exchange, most of those charges against him were dropped. He did plead guilty to two counts, conspiracy to defraud the U.S. and a false statement charge. And while his trial date hasn't been set, he has been cooperating with the Justice Department. The second biggest break of the Mueller investigation, the indictment of 12 Russian nationals who allegedly hacked into the Democratic National Convention server and stole classified documents. The operation was allegedly instructed by the Kremlin and carried out by a military intelligence agency. A trial date has not yet been set. Christopher Steele, he's the man behind the Steele dossier. He's a former British spy hired by a private research firm named Fusion GPS. Steele produced opposition research during the 2016 campaign cycle that allegedly linked the Trump campaign and Russian officials. BuzzFeed published the first dossier in January of 2017. It claimed Trump was under the influence of Russian intelligence services and they had blackmail material on him. 